Now, I know a lot of you people are frustrated, you're full of anxieties and desires. <laughs> and due to the fact that the world is now tottering on the brink, overlooking the precipice, bordering the abyss, I'm sure there are a lot of problems that do irk you. <laughs> I'm here to clarify those issues. Now, are there any questions? Why is the sky blue? Remember, uh, uh, you planted certain questions for me and Mary to uh, oh, yeah. ask you. Oh, yeah. One of them is, why is the sky blue? Oh, yeah. And what was your answer? Was oh, a that's a two-part question. Yeah. First, you ask why. Why has been plaguing man since time immemorial? Statesmen, philosophers, educators, teachers, scientists have been asking the ultimate why, and in these few moments allocated me, it would be ludicrous on my part, for the sake of brevity, to delve into the ultimate why. Is the sky blue? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Who describes himself as the world's greatest authority, and whose act was a majestic chaos of crumbling half-sentences. I always say that we've been living under a, a, a cacistocracy. Now, the word cacistocracy comes from cocktoes, from the Greek meaning bad, and caca from the Yiddish meaning sh**. Thank you. What a news on the post? I started about um, maybe 17 years ago, and there was a guy that uh, he used to give me papers every day. And by selling those papers, I collected almost $41,000. Oh, 25 cents, you can't go broke with a quarter. I don't know how I do it. I think uh, my key is to try to make the words follow each other without being abrupt. The, the line comes from one steady stream rather than in raindrops. Erwin Corey is a prominent comedian, performer, and satirist. He was blacklisted during the 1950s for his left-wing political opinions. As a result of the blacklist, he was unable to get the kind of work that his talent and experience would have permitted. Due to the after effects of the blacklist, Corey was not able to get work on television and movies until the 1970s and 80s. Yeah, that's good. I would Corey, you are ahead of your time. Thursday, December 16th, 1982. 1982, I was ahead of my time. I feel more like I do now than when I first got here. And this in itself shows that the development of those who realize the aspect of joining a curiosity which can only develop after the basic information is given so that these allegations cannot be supported by any contribution that you might endeavor. What was the question? If the House on American Activities Committee ever called upon me and they would say to me, do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? And my reply to that would be, Sir, do, 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 do you mind uh, repeating the question? <laughs> <laughs>